Hi everyone. If you see a face like this on camera, you know more than likely it's us Mask Monday ladies dropping in to say hi to everybody. And I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel. And I am using that uh, Glam Glow uh, Firming uh, Mask again. I had a good peel with it the last time, so hoping I can do it again. And I'm using these, oops, it's fallen again. I'm using these eye masks that just are just kind of uh, not staying in place. And they are, oh, there it goes. And these are the Guardian Angel Eye Mask. They feel really nice, but they just uh, definitely do not want to stay in place for me. So, oops, wrong side. Um, yeah. So, more than likely, I am going to, I've already asked my counterpart to, to set a timer for 15 minutes. But there's no way that I can sit here and keep these on for 15 minutes and not do anything else. So, I'm actually going to lay down for a little bit. Let these uh, kind of set in and do their magic. And again, I just want to welcome everyone to us, uh, hashtag Mask Monday Ladies. It's just a really fun group of ladies that come on here and just try to take a few minutes um, try to do some complexion work maybe turn back the hands of time or slow whatever we can and uh, yeah so it's just really fun doing this every week so I am enjoy doing these mask Mondays with everyone and yeah so I'm going to uh, just kind of lay down let these eye masks do their magic and then I will get back to take the mask off and put some moisturizer on so I'll be back Alrighty, so I lay down for a little bit and then I took the eye patches off. Um, the timer did go off for 15 minutes, but I just, I think with the eye mask on, it just made it too moist around here. So I don't think it's quite ready to peel, but that's okay because I will go over what I got in my Face Tory bag. So the bag I get from Face Tory, it's called Seven Lux. And so there's seven face masks in here and then an extra lux item, I guess. And it's $19.90 a month. So you do get a nice variety of bags. I know last month when I got this, um, there came there was a paper in here that explained what all the ingredients were in all the masks and how to use them, what they were for. This time um, it's not in here. I think it's probably to save paper, uh, kind of, you know, save the environment a little bit. So you can go online and check the, these all out before you use them. It does come with this little card. Just keep glowing. It just tells you the basics of how to sheet mask. And I think it tells you about um, going online to check them out. So the extra that we got this month, it's called Essen Herb. It's a tea, tea, tea tree cream and on their website um, they sell this for ten dollars but I did I was trying to google to see what the heck it was and I, I saw it on Poshmark for like eighteen dollars and like on eBay and some other sites were selling it for like fifty dollars so crazy and tea tree is um, I think you use this maybe after you wash your face or something or it really helps calm down some redness and irritations. Tea tree just has a really nice scent to it. So I just took the uh, protective cap off. I don't know if you can see how thick it is. I'm just going to put some on my hands. It just, uh, just smells really nice. I love the scent of tea tree. One of the shampoos I get every now and then from when on QVC I get the one with tea tree and that just feels really nice kind of like invigorates the scalp it smells so nice so I will read up on this a little bit more later but I'm pretty sure it's to help calm inflammation and redness and things that you could use on your face so looking forward to using that and seven face masks so got all different kinds. So this one, it's an aloe vera face mask. Calming and soothing. I know Alicia Martin loves anything with aloe in it. This one's a firming collagen essence mask. 
This says it's a milk spread. Balancing mask. This one is an Artisa Misa, refreshing relief. Let's see what that is. It's a soothing redness and breakouts. This is Birch 100. Dewy tree. And I do love using sheet mask. I think maybe more than the peel off mask because I just always feel so hydrating and I just feel like it really helps moisturize my skin and put the moisture in. But last week with my back, I really had trouble bending over the sink and trying to wash my face. So I know I probably did not good at do a great job of washing my face last week. And even trying to get in the shower, it was like in and out quick, just to, enough until I couldn't stand. And so I know I didn't wash my face as good as I should have. So I thought the mask would be good to try to really kind of clean some pores out. Um, so this one's a sparkle mask. I will have to read up on these. These ones is a two part mask. So you, there's like a liquid or something in here that you put on. And then you put the mask on over it. So, whoa, that H2O hydrating mask. So I may do this one tomorrow night. Just try to get some moisture back in. All righty, so that was everything in my face story. And again, that one is uh, $19.90 every month. And if I can't get a peel, then I will lay back down again for a little bit. Let me try. Because I mean, it feels like it dried, but those eye masks might have just been a little too much spreading some moisture in. See, it's dry. Over here, here it's probably not so dry, but I didn't go up that high anyway. Alrighty, but well, I think I'm going to uh, let this dry a little bit more. Oh, let me let me try up here. I think once you get it started, just kind of. Oops, I'm pulling my hair and not my mask. Okay, I think I got it. I think sometimes when you get it started. rest of it comes a little bit easier. I tried to stay away from my eyebrows because they are pretty sparse, but I may not have had the best luck. I've got a little, it wasn't as uh, good as a peel as it was the first time I used this, but but I didn't use those eye mask either that kept falling but it's not hurting at all so that makes me happy I feel like I'm pulling my skin every which way to get this off. Well, coming off in bits and pieces, but it's coming off. weird is trying to do it on camera because it's like it's opposite of what you're you're doing I 
Okay, well, I'm going to go take the rest of this off in the other room so I can see what I'm doing, and then I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. That was a chore getting that off. I think where I had kept trying to push those eye masks back into place. I mean, I had the glow mask in my eyelashes, uh, really up around my eyes, and of course, when I put it on, I, you know, did it well under my eyes. So, yeah, but it did come off really nice. I used my face eraser, my magic eraser, and just uh, put some warm water in it, and then just kind of soaked it on my face, and yeah, it just kind of dissolved. So, that was good. And then I thought, well, I think I need a treat. So I'm having my Smart Sips, my decaf coffee. I love it. Mm. This is so good. This one is, and I thought this is my last one here. I could use it sparingly until I get my next box. Decaf Blueberry Cinnamon Crumble. So, so good. Love this. Yeah, so seven masks and a little mystery item for $19.90. Um, as long as you love to mask, I think this is a really nice subscription. I really do like using these hydrating masks, um, the sheet mask. Uh, the peel mask, not so much, um, because I do ha have an exfoliator that I use uh, at least once a week. But I just feel like last week, um, with my back the way it was, and leaning over the sink to wash my face, and even really quick showers just to basically get in and get out before I couldn't stand anymore. So I knew my face really wasn't as clean. I didn't get it as clean as it should have been last week. So I thought the mask was a good way to start this week, kind of really pull out any impurities or anything that I missed uh, last week. And it does, it, it does feel nice. I'm not going to say it feels firmer, but it does feel nice. And yeah, so yeah, again, these masks are just really, really nice. I can't wait to start using these. And got my moisturizer and the serum that I'm using this week is peach and lily and it's a glass skin refining serum peach extract and peptide complex so that's and this is just kind of like a really you just put two pumps on there just a really clear liquid we've all probably seen serums before just feels really nice. And just to make sure it goes in, let me grab my jade roller here. I'm just going to press that serum in a little bit. Make sure it gets into my pores. And I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Actually a little bit warmer tonight. We actually got a little bit of snow, so that means it was warm enough to snow. Does that make you feel good? Yeah, so it was a minus, minus six. So, yeah, not bad. Could be worse. Could be better, too. But, but I think the vortex isn't quite done with everybody yet, so I think we should probably see some, some more 20 to 30 degree below zeros before it's over. And uh, yeah, I started my car a few times just to make sure that it would start, even though I was secretly hoping that it wouldn't start tomorrow on Monday so that I could uh, say, oh, sorry, my car won't start. I have to stay home, which I still might do anyway, right? Well, I won't. I'll go in. I already set up that in. I'm going to let it set in a little bit more, but I will put my, my uh, eye cream on. And, ooh, oh, I thought it was almost out, but here it is. And this is uh, the Lancer eye cream that I've been using. That was a big jar. I mean, this lasts forever, so can't really see what I'm doing, but. And I never knew about rubbing been like this, but I saw that on Laurie Latimer's sister, fantastic. You rub it in like this. Just kind of let it soak in. Yeah. And then when uh, that's done, I'll probably wait. Maybe, I mean, it's really not that tacky, but I'll probably wait a little bit longer. And then I will use my uh, Lancer moisturizer. Put that on. I think when you use a 
peel off mask maybe I've got some a retinol mix too that sometimes I use at night with my moisturizer but I don't think you do it like after you've exfoliated or use a peel off mask but I'm not positive about that but better to be safe than sorry and yeah so that is uh, my face mask Monday I want to thank everyone for joining me I hope you go out and check every all of us we have this little uh, hashtag thing the uh, mask Monday ladies and yeah it's just a, a lot of fun it's just a great way to support each other and and just a fun way to pop in say hi and kind of not worry about how we look right so anyway take care everyone and we will chat again during the week bye-bye